Advanced Private TRFX coming at you on the Tuesday after the Monday. Today's the 7th of February. Uh, Powell speaking today. This is important. Uh, I believe it's 6 p.m. Swiss time, so we have some time to get into that. Um, if you're living in the land down under, whoa, they raised last night 25 basis points. Uh, much to the chagrin of JP Morgan, who said they were going to be on hold. Anyway, Aussie popped. Let's have a quick look at that to start. 50 is now very important in Aussie. Let's bring this down to the four hourlies. You can see we're fucking around down here low. Um, bang. A lot of 50 highs there. Uh, it's going to be interesting today. There might be some momentum if we get through that. Um, take a look at the bigger picture, right? Because keep in mind Powell's going to be hawkish, or we believe Powell's going to be hawkish today, uh, which is not good for Aussie. But uh, do we take a peek through 50, uh, 12 hours, 11 hours, and 25 minutes before Powell shows up? Yeah, maybe. Um, so we're, we're long with just a tiny bit of Aussie here. Thinking about that going forward. U.S. 10s. Trying to sell high ones, no luck um, so far, but we're just going to be patient here, right? So these things, there should be some volatility in these things, but we do think um, this is going to at least a 380 yield. If you look at the bigger picture chart, we feel like we're definitely going to test this high 380s, this 390 level. Um, are we going to go back to uh, 430? Yeah, maybe. So, you know, we did get short at 335. We traded around that. We didn't have the courage going into non-farms to have a position. And then we tried to chase it, but we were unsuccessful. And then we were unsuccessful again. So effectively, we're still kind of chasing it. Um, no drama, right? Like, we don't run into big numbers with big positions. That's just not what we do. Uh, we're very risk risk minded with our trading. Uh, it's served us well over 30 years, uh, even though I guess uh, it's kind of a bit of a pussy maneuver. But you know, who doesn't like pussy, right? Uh, so here we are. Let's take a look at Euro. Went down to 10 last night, three big red bars. This is a buy area here. Uh, these highs here, 13, 107.13. This one was 106.99. Um, and then these highs here, 106.45.50. This was basically non-farms, first non-farms of the year, February 6th, Friday the 6th, uh, bang, shot higher, shot heard around the world. Um, there should be some congestion here between, say, the low we put in here, which is 10707, 007, uh, 10709, sorry. So sort of between... 107.09 and 106.50, we see um, support in Euro. It doesn't even really matter how hawkish Powell is, because like we wrote yesterday, this is not super straightforward in the D in the DXY, and the DXY is effectively Euro dollar. You know, Euro dollar makes a big chunk of that. So all three, BOE, ECB, and Fed are hawkish and are raising um, so this isn't a straight line deal uh, for g7 emerging markets is slightly different uh, as you can see with the uh, charts dollar max and dollar czar we'll look at those in a second um, anyway g7 is not a not a this isn't going to be a straight line back to back to parity in euro uh, we definitely don't think that and if stocks settle uh, which they did nicely yesterday um, we had that move up to f move up uh, and then let's pull up the stock chart uh, yesterday we were selling rallies 
which worked. We didn't make a ton of money, but it was fine. Like, you know, we weren't balls deep in um, in the stock market. And really, our big offers were at 41, 45. We were trying to think about filling that gap. Never traded. But it was offered, 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 down to 4104, but then just kept not being offered, right? Um, it was funny. As soon as... As soon as all the bears on Twitter start celebrating, you know it's time to take profit, right? It's almost classic hubris, right? You get these idiotic memes that come up on, from some of these guys um, who are like screaming and celebrating that the, the world is ending. We usually use that as a harbinger to, to, to lessen our position, right? So yesterday it was, it was, it was, it was actually almost hilarious. Um, down at 4108, 4106, all the mems started coming up. And, uh, and so we trimmed our position and we sold some more and we bought some and then we just gave up. We we're like, oh fuck, this looks like it's going higher. Um, so there wasn't a ton of money made in, in Spoo's short, but point is, is didn't collapse, right? And here we are, 41.28, which is lower from, you know, the Friday stuff. And it does seem to have some downward pressure. Powell is going to be hawkish. This is not good for stocks. We are bearish for stocks, but we're also conscious of the fact that um, stocks are weird um, and too many bears spoil the soup. And also we're conscious of the fact that 80% of the time of the lifetime of this contract, it goes up. So don't be an ass, right? It's fun to be bearish. Uh, you get paid quickly. You know, one of the reasons uh, I've been able to live in Switzerland all my, you know, the last 30 years and most of my wealth has been created from risk off. So I'm attracted to risk off. Um, if you're a momentum trader and a break trader, which I have been for a good part of my career, this, this is where you get paid. Uh, but at some point in your life, you just have to sit back and start looking at numbers and statistics and math and whatever. And <laughs> the guys who I know who are great S&P chairs, they always tell me, they're like, dude, you know, shut the front door, man. The shit goes up 80% of the time. Why are you always short? Uh, someone had this conversation with me about four years ago, and I was like, huh, right. Um, and it's been super helpful for me. So number one, I don't trade S&Ps as much as I used to. Um, I'm just much more patient. And I always have this in the back of my mind, right? Like, shit goes up. So be careful um, with that. Crude. Don't want to, like, flex or anything, but we bought 72.55 yesterday, just one contract. Uh, just because we couldn't help it heading into 70. It was way too early to be buying that. The stop was, um, you know, we were just going to feather into 70, right? So we were 72.50, 71.50, and then we had a pretty, you know, decent amount to, to get into this on the 70 handle. Uh, it turned out to be the low, which is just pure luck, right? Um, but we sold at 73.30 uh, just because we thought it was going to head back lower and and here we are, 7486. Um, the shit's turned. Uh, and what 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 does that mean? That means this guy has to go lower, right? Dollar, dollar uh, Euro Norway. Euro Norway's have been on a tear since 1070. Got to up 1110. We've talked about the 11 handle on Euro Norway. And let's pull up the weeklies. Um, Euro Norway doesn't really like it up here at 11 historically. Ignore this move to thirteen thirteen, um, or don't ignore it. Recognize that, that could happen. Um, but here in twenty twenty, we were on the eleven handle. Didn't really like it. Here, this is not even eleven. It's ten seventy. Anyway, we're up here again. Um, oil has turned. It's up, you know, two and a half bucks from the lows. Dollar czar is two handles from two and a half handles from the highs this is going to go lower at the european open it's 544 london time 644 in oslo um look for a move through this 1106 sort of pivot um and maybe all the way down this is this high is 1105 
I think this is going to trade 11 today. So keep an eye on Euro Norway, short Euro Norway. We, we like that. Let's pull up Euro Swiss. We talked about being a bit more cautious yesterday. We're still buying low ones. Why are we still buying low ones? The 200 day, basically, um, which is this guy here. 99.12 and then this trend line which seems to be holding I don't know why sometimes these trend lines just work right um, it's respecting this trend line but you can see lower highs lower highs lower highs so be careful we're, we're, we're long a tiny bit of, of Euro Swiss it's worked for us in a sense you know yesterday we bought 45s we sold 55s we bought 45s we sold 60s um, so we have a tidy average in this. We're just like sort of playing it for pips. Um, we like Euro Swiss higher. Anyway, things get really dicey if we get below this uh, 200 day, um, which is, sorry, 99.4. No, that's the four hour 200 day exactly, 99.11.6. So. Anyway, we're collecting Euro Swiss very carefully. Uh, so I guess we're short Swiss Norway. No, wait. Short Euro Swiss, short Euro Norway. No, I'm going to shut up now. Let's look at dollars are very extended. Um, you don't want to fade this on two and a half or even three sigma because it's dollars are. It's hysterical. The shit always goes up with, with a vengeance. This is speaking to rates, U.S. rates, and it's also speaking to, like, a country that's not very well run. Sorry, guys. Uh, it's just facts. Um, careful on this one. This could continue to go higher. We don't have a dog in this race, a horse in this race, or whatever. Uh, our horse is at the glue factory. Um, but this looks like it could continue. If stocks go lower and Powell is hawkish, that's a mad recipe for dollars are higher. Um, let's look at dollar max, our little Sinaloa buddies. We talked about this big bar here. I mean, we haven't been playing dollar max, but uh, and then this low here was just sacred, 1857. Of course, we got below that, 1851, and then turned. Amazing what FX does. Um, just gets you, right? It's going to get you. Uh, but this is similar to the, the dollars are, but but less violent, right? Mexico's a huge trading partner with the U.S. Their economy actually is doing well. If you take away all of the murdering uh, and the drug armies, um, Mexico's doing just fine. That's a big if, uh, obviously, but... Um, Anyway, no, no, no horse in that race either. Dollar China. The shit just doesn't really like to go up, right? Okay, this is this is the Friday bar, which is a pretty big bar, but it, it, there's been no extension. There's been no spook. Um, <clears throat> the two hundred days up here at at six ninety. This whole. This whole thing right here just reminds me to try and be short this stuff. And so there's no real place to get short now. We'll maybe start looking at this at 690. Obviously, if it gets up there, there's going to be some bad news out of China. But I don't know. Dollar China does not go up too well. It should be a lot higher, uh, but it's not. Let's look at its G7 pal. Uh, more dollar Asia here with dollar yen. Basically got up to 90 last night. Yeah, 132.90 back at 132.27. Um, we were not patient with this. We were long this going into the open yesterday. And then we cut way, way too early. Very poor. Um, but now we've got a little double top up here. I believe this is 04, 06. No, sorry. 132.87 was the high on 11 Jan. 90 was the high yesterday. Um, double top up there, just keep that in mind. Double top going into a round figure, that's typically not a recipe for a break trade. Um, 
but just keep an eye on that. This may come into play if Powell is super hawkish. And if Powell is super hawkish, it doesn't even matter. You can just buy blindly buy dollar yen. Not much else to talk about. Our main focus is Euro Norway today. Um, this crude cruising higher, gap open higher. We've got a lot of room to go up. There's really no resistance here. Um, and we're going to try and sell high ones in the U.S. 10 years. We've been trying to do that for three days. No, no luck on the duck. Uh, and Euro Swiss casual um, trading for an average Euro Swiss longs. Oh yeah, we're long Euro Swiss. We're short Euro Norway. Because we're short. Swiss, Norway, All right, oops, I need some more coffee, anyway, <clears throat> Euro Norway is the main focus today, uh, and we're waiting for Powell, Powell will howl 6 p.m., uh, and for those of you uh, who follow the Canadian bullshit, uh, Macklem from the Bank of Canada is uh, on tap at 6.30, so if you're a central bank um, follower or watcher, Grab some popcorn, 6 to 6.30 Central European time. Should be uh, should be some good vol there. Looks like Ramston from MPC is speaking this morning as well. Um, but who gives a shit about uh, Ramston? 6 o'clock tonight, CET, there's going to be some volatility. So otherwise, we just trade the stories. And today the story is Euro Norway South. That's it. Thanks. Bye. 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 Have a good day trading. Um, go ahead and make some dough. Why not?